Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering daily updates. So today we are going to discuss the uh, topic related to the types of load. Uh, the, uh, if in a structure, if any structure there is, there is always load acting on this structure. It may be, uh, it may be a residential building. We can say uh, it may be a, you can say it may be a frame structure. Or it may be anything, but the loads of people, the loads of cars, the load of itself, the structure is always acting on this type of on this type of structures, right? So we are going here to classify the what are these types of loads acting on this structure, right? So I will here classify the types of load. And there are mainly two types of load acting on these structures. One is the gravity loads the gravity loads and the other is are uh, lateral loads right so what are the gravity loads gravity loads are those loads like i'm drawing here it uh, is a beam and it's let's suppose it's a column and it's a frame structure so the loads that are acting in the downward direction in the direction of gravity its name shows that this load acting in the gravity direction so we call it the gravity loads right those loads which acting in the downward direction we call as gravity loads while the lateral load is totally different from that of the gravity loads these are the loads this is i'm taking example of the frame structure uh, the great lateral loads are the loads that are acting on the structure and in the lateral direction in the horizontal direction we can say right so these are the type uh, these these loads are included in the lateral load all right so one is the vertical loads, gravity loads, and one is the horizontal load, we call it lateral loads, right? So now again, uh, classifying the gravity as well as the lateral loads, you know, further classification in these two types of load, uh, and the gravity loads, we have two other classification. One is the dead load, and one is live load, right? And the dead load, we have... Uh, like the load of the furniture we can say and the, these are the load which are do not change in position uh, we, we do not change with time or with position it's fixed uh, on a member we can call it dead load uh, this may be the load um, uh, self uh, sulfate of the structure we call it the dead load because it's not changing going to change and dead load may include the furniture load because uh, the furniture is fixed on the structure throughout the year so we call it dead load while the live load the live load are those which are going to change in position uh, so we can say change which are going to change in its position like the people moving on the floor on the second floor so the people loads are going to change so we call it live load all right while the little loads also have so sometimes it includes the wind load little the loads acting in the horizontal direction wind loads are acting earthquake loads are acting in the horizontal direction right and uh, as well as the other loads like the retaining wall or earth pressure we can say earth pressure earth pressure and as well as the water pressure acting on the structure so these are included in the later loads because they are acting on the horizontal direction while these types of load acting on the vertical direction so this was all about the types of load uh, if you have any question please comment and please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and thank you for watching the video.